Hello everyone, I'm Forrest Dowman. And I'm Tanya Uth. And we're going to be doing some conga today. Now, uh, we're just going to start off with some fundamentals here. Uh, different basic steps that you use traveling. Okay, here we go. So, we start off with, it's called a conga rock. Okay, so this is your basic progressive step. We're just going to be going forward, forward, little step, back. So follow doing the nap box up. Notice how she kicked her foot up. The leader can do a point, a press line, or even a kick. Doesn't matter, okay? Uh, but she, anytime she gets pulled forward, she's kicking that leg up in the back. So it's dun 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 ah, dun 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 ah, dun 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 ah. Yep, easy peasy. So that's your first step that you learn how to do. Fun little one. Um, the next thing we have is another type of conga timing. This is a more common one, actually, is to do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Notice it has a little, uh, it's called a chug, which is ball of the foot, down. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you're dropping your heel on the fourth count, yeah? Um, if I'm going forward, um, then she's going to be kicking her foot forward, actually, and I'd be lifting my foot back on that one. So it would make no sense for her to pull her foot back like that. So it would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Yeah? And again, you can kick your foot up as high as one, doesn't really matter. Now, there is a variation here if we're traveling as well that we can do that essentially here requires that I do three of the basics here. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Then I do a pivot turn. Slow, slow, and repeat. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, slow, slow. And that will put us back to where we started again and we can do any other figure. Okay, so we're traveling. Got some basics going on here. Another thing we can do with your basic here is we do Two of them say one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. We turn a quarter of turn, and then that allows us to go down line. So we'll be going down the line of dance here. One, two, three, four. Yes? From here, we have some variations. So I'll do that one uh, from here so you can see what it means. We'll come down line. Dun 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 ah. Dun 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 ah. Dun 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 ah. And from here, it's common to do a backward step. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, three, four. Good. So that's your next variation, just your basic in place, forward and backward. From here, we can also switch that over now to going from here to there. So we're going open to counter, open, or reverse up position. Dun, 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 dun. Ah. Good. So after that, uh, I think the next thing we're going to be doing is going over into some crossover steps. All right, so, so you've got our basic travel. Oh, there's one more movement that we have to talk about, and that's called an oblique step. Okay, so, an, so with that, it's a little bit complicated. I'm going to do it from this angle. I'm going to change angles a few times for this one. It's one, two, three, four. Now it changes timing, though. We use step, hop first, then step, step. Hop, step, 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 hop. So in between, there's only two. So again, one, two, three, hop, hop, step, step, hop, step, 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 hop. All right, a little bit more complicated. I'm gonna switch angles here so you can do leader's footwork. Here we go. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Yes? So basically makes a V. Alright, so you don't really travel so much on that one, but it doesn't really fit in either of the, the movement classifications of side movements or forward and back movements. Alright, we'll be right back and go about go over some crossover step basics or the side basics. So the side cross basic. Essentially here we're going to be going. A side step, crossing over in front, and to the side again. And then from here, we do the chug on the fourth count. Repeat to the other side. Now, one thing I'm going to say about that is when you're doing your side step, you don't want to necessarily go directly to the side. 
and then have to try both to fit through there. Actually go a little bit diagonally back, if you will, on that, you can see, and then it makes it a lot easier to both step through. So most descriptions that I have you actually stepping slightly back as you're going to the side. That makes it really easy to get, get by. Now, let's do it again from here. You can see followers, effective on it. Great, so we have a, our basic side cross step. Now what I would like to do here is go over some variations in footwork. Okay? This is where I want to mention that when we're doing this, the bachata is based on Cuban dancing from the son and this dance as well as Cuban in origin. So it was based upon uh, Cuban dancing and then put into a partnered form. So you have similar movements, right? This is before bachata existed, but this movement already existed in the song. So here we go. If we're moving to the side here, one of the variations is ball change. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Right? So you can see that again from here, we're just saying step, 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 ball change, step, 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 ball change. Now we can do that as a back ball change as well. So that we do, if we move this way, ball change, step, 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 ball change, step, 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 ball change. Yes, yeah, so again, if you're familiar with Chata, they do the same exact thing. Here we go. Next thing is, if you're doing a, a basic, we have a few versions. We can do it with the foot staying on the ground and sliding a little bit on the chug. Yes, so it's not a lift. Good. Then we have as well with a little bit of a lift. One, two. Good. Some people even do it as a kick. Right? So we can play a little bit with footwork on that. Um, another thing to note is if we watch the hip action here, there is a timing to the hip action which makes it feel better. Yeah? And that is if we're going one with first step, two, three, I still have the hip. Our hips are out that way. And then on four, our hip settles and hits. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, so a little tick, 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 boom with the butt. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. Good. So that's our basic timing for our body action that makes it feel a little bit more rhythmic. From, uh, from that position, though, let's go ahead and go into some of the figures now. All right, so we got a, a side basic here that we're going to be using and just adding in under our turn. Super duper simple here. Same exact footwork for the leader. We can add it under our turn to the follower. Dun, 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 ah. Yes? Leader can do the same thing. So I can be going dun 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 ah. Now for this, the leader won't usually do under our turns, so he'll do free spins. Yeah. Also, we can do free spins for the follower. Easy peasy. I should also mention, there is one other variation I forgot uh, to mention here, and that is using a drop action. So if we do the, the chug, but then we lunge into it, it has a drop and our foot slides out. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Which is fun. I don't know why I forget that one. <laughs> so, so we've got the side basic going on. Uh, from our side basic, we have our turns. Now we get into a little bit more complicated uh, movement here. This one goes, instead, actually you can do it from this angle here. So we're gonna end up turning a little bit here and I'm just gonna send the follower back, side, across. So she's doing a grapevine step that I'm, I am leading that rotation. Then she's gonna be doing, repeating that, going back, side, across. Back, side, across, good. And then I want to stay in place on the last one here, so we come back to our basic. So front of bum bum ba, bum bum bum, back side across, back side across, step 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 pull, step 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 pull. Easy peasy because you just keep your timing as a leader, and you can go back and forth, whether it's the left side or the right side, it doesn't matter. Just march in place, we'll come back to you. So that's a hand-to-hand -hand variation. Uh, from the hand-to-hand -hand variation, 
Well, let's go ahead and get into, uh, let's see, maybe we'll do wheeling. So wheeling, right. With a wheeling, we have two options. With a wheel basically means to rotate. I can just stay in closed position into a wheel. Dun, 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 ah. Dun, 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 ah, two, that's the third. Then on the fourth, we rotate the other way. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, and then we go back to our basic. Side basic, progressive basic, whatever you feel like at that point, right? Because you're staying in closed position. The alternative to that is to do wheeling, circling around each other, but from hand to hand. Okay. When you're doing that, we can use the leader turning for the transition. So if I do a turn, dun 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 ah, dun 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 ah, dun 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 ah, dun 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 ah. We did that hand change there essentially as I did my turn. One thing to note when you're doing turns, leader, leaders, you have to do this. You have to realize if I want to turn and her not to turn, I can't apply any force into her hand here. She's going to go spinning. So I very intentionally make sure that there is no pressure there to keep her from wanting to turn because absolutely we can both do our turns together. Again, very common variation. So if I don't want her to do that, I need to keep that pressure straight to the side as I move. So she knows when I'm turning or not turning. All right, uh, next version of wheeling. Now this is where it gets interesting. Now you're under bridges. What I'm gonna be doing is doing a side rock basic while she's doing regular time. So we're going to do the first half of it. One, two, three, and then here, uh, I'm set, I'm gonna march four while she's doing her little kick or hold. Then we're both gonna to go to the side to our left. One, two, three, four. So now we're both staying on our left foot with our right foot free and we're both gonna to go to the right. One, two, three, four. Let's do that again, I'll just change angles here so you can see. So, dun, 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 dun. Ah, good. So that is literally the same timing and footwork as our basic rock progressive. That's all we're doing, essentially, just to the side. That's how I change footwork. I do the fakes so that she doesn't have to. Then, once we get to this position here, we're both going to the side now. One, two, three, yes. Then from here, we can leave the follower in turns. I can leave myself in turns. It's the same thing. Dun, 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 ah. Or we can both do turns. So, when we get to this hand to hand position and such, what we have to do is know how to get out of it. Okay? We have two options with, with these types of movements, these side basics. Essentially, our options are if we're in, say, a hand to hand position here, and she's going to spin to me. We're done, 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 ah. We've done an extra step here to get her back. So we can see that again. Done, 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 ah. Now we both can go to the side. So I faked my footwork yet again, put it, or I should say I did a rock basic to the side. So we got back together and we can progress together in a regular footwork. Yeah, easy peasy. The alternative is we don't change our footwork. And now we go into something else. That is this, conga line time. What, what? So conga line. We'll get into a whole bunch of little conga line deals here. But from this position here, we can also go from here and not change our footwork at all. One, two, three, and. Now you can see we're able to do a side basic together. Right? This is where you get into here when you pull their partner's waist here. This would be when we're getting into a conga line so she can grab the person in front, I can grab them, and we just go in a line, okay? So that's a basic transition there is once we're in that position and we're already on the same foot, I just have to turn the follower. So a simple transition that we just did was one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now once I have the follower here, I can turn her a half turn there into me, and now we both go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So it's as simple as just having that hand-to-hand -hand position here, and we keep I keep the same timing here. One, two, three. And she's doing one, two, three. 
I just take a hold of her and now we're off to the races. It can happen on either side. If I can spin her half turn the other way, it doesn't matter. Same result. Okay, so that gets us into that position. The other way that we can do that is instead of faking there, we can do it with our regular basic. So we can use this as a transition in and out by doing our cross basic. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Now the difference is here, although from this angle here, we're going to go to the side here. One, two, three, four. I just pushed her into the fourth step so that she just walks one, two, three, four while I just keep my regular timing. It's really easy to leave. Um, you just need to have follow through so that it destabilizes her bounce so she has to take that step. Make sure you have some follow through there. So again, we do one, two, three, four. So I just hold the four and send her through. Now we're in position. Dun, 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 ah. dun, 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 ah. Good. Now, while we're here, it's a good time to mention that when we're in this position, we can also use that as an exit out. One, two, three, four. I just stood there, moved her in exactly the same way, that extra step. Now we're back to her basin. So by on three, adding that extra movement, she steps for four and we can transition on her cross step. That brings us up to combo line time. So once we have the lady in front of us, or I should say our follow, um, we're gonna be doing, uh, start with a progressive basic. So progressive basic from here, same thing that we did at the very beginning, uh, it's gonna be the followers doing the same footwork though. So we're all going on the left foot forward, one, two, three, four. Important thing to note here is I am pulling back here by keeping my frame. It, it makes the follow or the person in front of me go back. One, two, three, four. Yes, and that's important because we also can do our regular chug basic here. Three, four, two, two, three, four. Repeat. Easy piece. Now, the next move we do, again, this is traveling the conga line, is to do a back. Uh, basic here. So if we do one chuck basic, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Now what happens is I pull back, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so using the, the back rock as well. So those are all moving down the line. We can also move down the line again diagonally. And then finally, we can do our, think of this as turning. Turn the follower, turn the follower. So from the side here, let's do it this way. Everybody turns to the left, everybody turns to the right. And those are basically the variations we use once we get into uh, conga line progression. There's a bunch more, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Check out below because there's tons of formations you can use. Thanks, okay. bye.